This video hasn't even started and I'm very confused as to why I have so much lying right here. Um... Hello everyone and welcome to another photo card organization video. It's the first photo card organization video of the year and I'm very excited because I wasn't expecting to accumulate this many photo cards, especially since through the last half of December and the first half of January, I wasn't trading or doing anything just because of holiday mail and making sure nothing was lost. But looking at what I have, I do have quite a lot. So I'm really excited to put everything away. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all of these away in my trade and sale binder section and then we're going to celebrate Sungchan coming home <laughs> because I have this Jisung and I ended up having an extra photo card so I went ahead and traded for Sungchan so yeah we're gonna put Sungchan in here and we're gonna see how these look because I absolutely love Jisungs and I'm really excited for this oh my god look how cute he is okay we have a squad of photo card decos now these are going in my binder just because I won't have a place for them so they're actually gonna be going on my shelf instead but that's fine because cuties belong on the shelf. These, on the other hand, are going into my trade and sell section. Okay, so what I have this time around is a lot of bigger inclusions, and then I've been storing my photo cards in this extra Kino box I have, so we have a lot of things to organize before I can actually start putting things away. I would say the bulk of all of these photo cards are going to be going to my multi-group binder, just because... Monstax hasn't have a comeback, so I've been trying to catch up on just getting all of the other photo cards, especially for NCT and things like that. So, yes, I'm very excited. I have made some progress on like most of these. So, fun times, fun times. Now that these are organized, I think I'm going to start with Monster X first just because these two piles are very small, and then we can get into all of this exciting things. Okay, so for this non-album binder, I really just have these three things, and they're not even photo cards, they're just from a fan site, and I, like, don't know where I would put them in this binder, but we're just gonna put them on this extras page. I really like how they look, and might as well keep them because I paid good money for my fan site slogan, and these came with it. I'm gonna go ahead and put them backwards in this little area. Hopefully, I can get some photo cards to cover them for now, but yeah, they'll look fine like this, I guess. That's still cute. It's really cute. Actually, I'm going to put this one in the middle. I like that. Okay, that was it for this one. <laughs> Moving on to my Monster X binder, there has been a change because I was tired of the All About Love cover that I made, and so I went ahead and made a Love Killer version or a fatal love version and i think i really like it i really like it actually <laughs> like the colors aren't as saturated and i'm digging the vibes so that's what's going on with monster x and oh wow there's a lot of things going on i still have yet to fully decorate this page and everything's falling and i really want to get to doing this at some point but i just don't have things to decorate it with but i do have this random keynote thing so i'm gonna slide it in here just because so these are all the photo cards i have for monster x this time around i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna try and sleeve all of them right now and then we can talk more and get into more depth with my collection and the plans i have for 2021 for monster x though i do have to say my collection plans haven't really changed much i just really want to try and complete 
Juhan or Changkyun this year. Maybe even both of them if that's possible. Just because I want to try and get more older cards so that I can focus on current comebacks more because even though current comebacks are easier to collect, the older cards are really getting harder to find nowadays. So I just hope that I can get some more of them by the time the year ends so that I can focus on other things and other plans that I have for this collection. Okay, so everything that could be sleeved is sleeved now. And I have a lot of Fatal Love photo cards, so I'm gonna sort them into Fatal Love and not Fatal Love. And we'll go ahead and put these away last, and then we will put these away. I can't even remember where half of these cards go, is that bad? Okay, so first going to, we are here. I have one Changjin card, and I believe it is this one. So yay, I only need two more cards for my We Are Here section. Is this We Are Here? Yes, it is. Then we have this Changjin that has to go here. I'm putting this goofy one in the middle because this one this Juhan is also a goofy little one, so their more serious flower selfies will go right here. I really like how everything's set up. Oh! And then this Juhan can go in here. Oh my god, I didn't even realize that this page was filling up this fast. That is so exciting. So I really only need one more Tangyun photo card here. And this page will be complete, and that's so good. I actually had this Chunkin photo card, but I traded it away for a Kihyun because I was really desperate to get that Kihyun collection completed, I guess. So, sorry Chunkin. And then I have completed All About Love now because of this Hyungwon. This makes me so excited because even though this set is really easy to collect, I'm really glad it's just done and over with. <laughs> Because holy cow, All About Love is so just, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Anyways. And then I am done with my Fantasia Juhan set. Which is so good. I finally have this Juhan. I am so slow on collecting Juhan. So I'm really glad that I'm making some progress right now. And I just need two more Chunkin cards. And Fantasia will be done. There's so much- oh, I'm so excited. There's so much that's happening. Now moving on to the Fatal Love section. As you can see, there's some photo cards missing from the last time I did one of these videos. Just because I've decided that with Monster X and what they did with Fatal Love, I feel like they're going to be continuing to do that. By they, I mean Starship. <laughs> so what I mean is this era Monster X released a lot of just pre-order benefits and even though it isn't a lot compared to like JYP or NCT, SM, Seasons Greetings type jazz, it really was a lot especially since I collect more than one member so I would have to buy more things and people are and still selling them for a lot of money. So what I plan to do is only collect Kihyun for the pre-order benefits from now on, starting here. And I've like tried to sell away some of my other pre-order benefits, but yeah. Let me just put some photo cards away, shall I? Yes, I shall. I don't even remember what version is which version. These are version 2. And then I'd have to compare champions. So wait. Okay, so this is 1 and this is 4. Okay. To restate what I just said, because as I was saying it, I did not understand what I was saying. Um, basically, besides the pre-order benefits that Starship already puts into their albums, I'm just going to be collecting Kihyun for any outside pre-order benefits. Using Fatal Love as an example, I will collect every member as long as it comes in the album for sure. Like, 
the bookmarks, the message cards, the lenticulars, things like that, that are pre-order benefits, but they always come in the album. And then for specific pre-order benefits like Sub K, uh, G Market, things like that, where they have more pre-order benefits on top of the pre-order benefits that come in the album. I'm just going to try and collect Kihyun for those because, wow, there was a lot to handle. Especially with the Kinos right now, I went ahead and I was deciding that I did not want to get any other Kino just because it was really expensive. I did find Tenkin's Kino and I had him at one point, but I ended up selling him. Cry. That was such a cute Kino photo card. But I had to end up selling him because I couldn't find a trade or just in general a Juhan Kino photo card to purchase for a decent price. So I just decided, you know what, Kihyun is fine, we will go ahead and do that. So right now I'm just waiting on Sub K, and then Sub K also released holiday cards, which, oh my god, I'm gonna put those two here, and I also kept the K-Town for you. <laughs> oh, I'm such a hypocrite, but I kept Juhan and Sungkin's K-Town for you pre-order benefits because those are the cutest things ever. And K-Town for you was fairly easy to get, so I went ahead and kept these guys. And then Sub K, their holiday pre-order version special card things. I don't know if those would be non-album, but I'm just going to consider them really late in the game pre-order benefits. And I'm going to place them right here because Sub K gives you two per album. So I went ahead and just took my chances and hopefully I can get... If not, then I'm just gonna sell them off and keep the Kihyun one. I also decided to collect everything this way because G Market's benefits, I feel like nobody's buying off of G Market now because other sites have pre order benefits and they're easy to buy off and have less shipping costs than G Market. Speaking of G Market, I have no idea where to put these two unit photo cards. I'm so happy they gave us a chunky unit. That is so cute. Also, I really love Shonu's new hair, so I'm glad he's with Juhan, but anybody with Juhan is really a plus. And I don't know where to put these, because they are transparent, so like, they would be covered if I place them here. I don't know. I don't know where to put these. That makes me so, like, here, but then you wouldn't even see them on the Kino, unless I place them on this one. But they won't fit! That is so sad. Actually, idea, um, it doesn't even, you can't even see it. You can't even see it. Secret, secret C. You can't even see it. How would they know? How would they know? I can't, I can't. I just, I can't. Oh my God. Okay, great idea, me. Also, this is what I did with my All About Love album cover. I put it here to be like a divider even though there's nothing to divide in this area but i'm put all my group cards here and i'm thinking i'm really thinking now to just put all the group and unit stuff back here so that way it'll be like i don't know but then these are units you know i don't know so that's a divider of things that i still have to question about organizing in this binder but we are done with monstax yay okay on to the exciting other binder. Can y'all tell the difference with this binder? Can y'all tell what has changed? There's a little Sunu. Ah, he's so cute. I gave in. I really gave in. And I'm going to collect an hyphen. Even though I clowned them. Oh, I'm so bad. Sunu is my bias in an hyphen now. And gotta say... What a cutie, you know? <laughs> wow, okay. Anyways, so. With what can be sleeved, it will go here. Other than that, everything else will just be stacked. Some of you might be wondering, why did I decide to collect and hyphen so fast? Because I am one to just think of collecting groups instead of actually collecting groups and never going through with collecting them. <laughs> I for one have no idea what to say. Um, I just jumped into an hyphen 
that's pretty it's pretty much like the same feeling i got when i decided to just stand 80s from debut like something about the songs something about the group just made me want to stand right away and so might as well and then if i end up not wanting to collect an hyphen anymore we are going to just sell the photo cards that's gonna be really hard to do though because they are really cute Anyways, yeah, so that's how I got into N-Hyphen. I really just jumped right in and that is so unlike me. There are really, I made an entire list of groups that I want to collect because I'm so close to just standing them. And I really just love all of their music, all of these groups, but I'm just like never, I never go through with collecting them and it's such a weird thing I don't know why I don't know why I set like these boundaries to collect stuff like I could just be collecting all these groups I don't even have to collect their albums you know that is my very bad reasoning and explanation of my thought process on why I collected and hyphen so fast when my brain literally tells me to hold back on collecting other groups and hold back on even like standing other groups i don't know it's a weird thing it's a weird process but that's how i collect i guess okay now that everything is sleeved i just also want to note that this is entirely just boy groups today that is so bad and i really want to start collecting other girl groups and just getting into other girl groups but I don't know, it's just really hard for me to get into girl groups compared to boy groups. I don't know if it's because of the content that they put out and more boy groups just participate in like shows and things like that. Or if I'm just not looking for the right content. For 80s, I actually just have non-album stuff. And this is a very funny story <laughs> about these non-album things. Don't suggest this to me because my brain has been definitely suggesting this to me. But if y'all see me collecting Mingi, tell me to stop because I have gone too far if I start collecting Mingi because wow, that's going to be a lot of money. For ATs, the non-album items I have today are their second anniversary concert goods that they had their online concert. For their second anniversary, they had a photo card set and some postcard sets. So I went ahead and impulse joined a group order, then forgot I impulse joined the group order. Didn't want to say that I did not want them anymore. So I went ahead with the group order because I didn't want to back out. So now I have them. <laughs> so for AT's first anniversary, they made an album with photo cards. And that's what I was expecting for their second anniversary, but instead they were like, let's host a concert. But it was online, so everybody was able to come if they had the money to, and it was really cute. I like that, that they weren't going with an album, but it would have been so cute to have another anniversary album. And I'm also saving up to just buy the answer albums myself, because I'm really thinking that my fan sign stuff isn't gonna come through and we finally have stuff that <laughs> can go in front of Geno instead of the first anniversary thing but yes I just want an 80s comeback even though it feels like they just had their comeback and they promoted it a lot I am waiting for another 80s comeback I don't know, I feel like after ATs has a comeback and it says like promotions are done and all of the ATs really just want another comeback. On to NCT. For NCT, Resonance is over, but I'm still yet to collect all of the photo cards for Resonance. And I'm planning this a little differently. For part one, I stored Jeno and Xiaojin separately just because they like fit onto their two separate pages perfectly so for the next ntt dream comeback i just have to add a page and then for the next wavy comeback i just have to add a page but i don't know why but i decided with all of the inclusions from the part two comeback i just wanted to put them on a page together i don't know that way while i'm waiting for the dream or wavy comeback like this 
is the page that will connect them is that weird i hope not as for this collection i thought it was gonna be really hard to find everything just because i wasn't trading at the time the comeback was happening in december but i actually ended up finding a lot for is this the access card or the id card but yeah i ended up finding a lot of the photo cards especially xiao jin's photo cards he's just generally easier to find like people just aren't pulling jeno and then when they are pulling jeno it's like nct cards have become pokemon cards which is generally like photo cards are the same concept but like people are only trading jeno for uh members that would have a harder time to be traded for since jeno is a fairly more popular member people are only trading jeno for members in the same popularity or higher popular than them. that i don't like at all i feel like if you have a card and you're collecting these members you should collect these members there's like a lot of nct members that are on like the lower popularity area and people are like either selling their photo cards right away or they're trading them for any other member because they just want to get a member that people will trade more for and i guess there's always a reason behind that but I don't know it just sucks to see that this photo card business is a little funny nowadays with nct but yes this is um, the layout that i have going on for part two and i think it looks really cute i also am in love with jeno's arrival photo card that is so cute but i have yet to find this and i've been looking at the nct trade hashtag for days now so if anybody wants songtan please let me know if you have jeno's access card I have the sticker set that has Xiaojin and Jeno, and I wasn't going to collect this, but I ended up pulling two sticker sets with Johnny and Winwin in it. So I was like, okay, let's try and trade for the Xiaojin and Jeno one. And then these were in the US version, these postcards, so I might as well involve them in this section. And then we have the posters and the arrival sticker sheet. So that's what we're going to be putting away. If these posters are in any other album like if wavy starts putting more posters and dream starts putting more posters i am so sorry but i'm not gonna collect them or ncd is gonna have to get their own binder and I, that sounds crazy to me because i'm not a big okay maybe i am maybe i am a big ncd stan but i'm not like whole other binder for them ncd stan because like NCT aren't even my ults. They just have a lot of content. And I would feel bad if I created a whole binder for them and I don't even have a whole binder for ATs. That's gonna be it for NCT. I'm not gonna complain anymore. Um, we're done putting things away. As for ITZY, I have not made any progress on Taehyung and I feel so bad. It's just because I'm done with her photo cards that I have to now look for her pre-order benefits and it's fairly easy to find the wannabe ones i just don't oh, i just don't want to buy them for two dollars each like if somebody has a cheryong set i'd rather much just buy the whole set but that's just oh it's really hard to find those so i just have to tell myself to shut up and buy her pre-order benefits already so that i can put them in here after cheryong we now have a new divider for sunyu and i just want to like prepare yourselves because this is the cutest divider i have ever made like oh my gosh look at him he's so adorable i know i said this about my Young divider and how my Young divider was the cutest divider i've ever made but this really is the cutest divider i've ever made i think it's because of the blues and the fact that i use some deco like, I didn't have deco but at the time when I was making my other dividers. And this just makes me want to redo all my other dividers. <laughs> and don't clown me because I also was about to collect Jake. Let's not talk about that. That would have been such a hard thing to do. <laughs> I am also just right now 
thinking about how he sung might be climbing up my bias list that is a very bad thing to think because i really wow okay not my camera literally cutting me off and not filming any of the sanu that i just put away and that is all of sanu um how rude anyways yes this is what i have for sanu i literally only have four photo cards and a postcard but i am getting the dust version on the way so hopefully i can get more photo cards fingers crossed um i didn't really say much as i was putting these away but what i did want to say is how i'm going to be collecting sanu because this might confuse you a lot maybe i don't know i have no idea so for sanu i'm not going to be collecting non-album my friend got me this so might as well keep the sanu but i don't think i'll be tempted to buy any more non-album just because an iphone non-album is a lot right now and even though they might be cheap at the moment i feel like they're gonna get really expensive later on so i'm not gonna do that to myself <laughs> as for album photo cards i think i'm just going to be collecting weaver's pre-order benefits and all the album photo cards for now so hopefully I can get more album photo cards and this will be a cute little page for some new. But other than that, that was pretty much it for this video. And I feel like it was a short video, but it also might be a long video just because of the how much I talked in between putting all these photo cards away. So yes, I just wanna thank y'all once again for coming and watching this video and just coming to my channel, chilling out here, looking at my collection, you know? I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye now!